So I'm just doing a quick hybrid spotlight here on this plant. This is Glandulifera cross ephippiata. Uh, this is from Redleaf Exotics, or actually it's from Exotica Plants, but Redleaf Exotics distributed it in their EP import. Uh, I got this last fall, and uh, it's a pretty big plant. It's 17 inches across, I think. Um, I haven't measured it in a while, but something like that. And had a leaf jump recently. And um, I really, really like this hybrid. I don't have Glandulifera or Ethipiata in my collection, so I was able getting this hybrid give me a piece of those two species. And um, I, I, you know, you can see the Glandulifera traits. Look at all those little glands on the um, on the leaves. Um, so this is a vining rooted cutting. Um, I hope it produces a flower soon. Would love to get some pollen. I'm pretty sure it's a male plant. But um, yeah, vining rooted cutting, upper pitchers, and it put out a new pitcher recently that I just think is spectacular. Just, it's got the ephippiata toilet bowl shape combined with the glandulifera coloration. That lid paint is something else. And um, love the peristome striping. Um, this pitcher body's got a lot more red than the previous pictures I put out. I'm not really sure why. I know that it was getting a lot of sunlight before I put up the shade cloth, so maybe that's why. But I love the red pitcher body on this particular picture. Um, the interior coloration is cool. Um, striping, lid paint, um, and it gets a cool when it gets a lot of light. And the mid rib turns red, which is cool. Um, it, then it also has glands going all the way down the tendrils, which is the trait from glandulifera. Um, so yeah, um, it has another picture coming, probably another month and a half, two months, so it'll be another picture on this thing. And um, uh, I'll definitely continue to do updates on this one. I'm very proud to own this, and um, hopefully, like I said, get, get a flower from it soon, and I'll let people know if that happens.